Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astro nerd. And uh, today I am going to work on cable management. So I got inspired by Astroblog. Astroblog did a beautiful job with his telescope and it's something similar than what I have. But he took everything apart and he put the telescope maybe in the yeah. garage or something like that. But I'm not going to do that, Astro. You know what? I'm not moving this baby anywhere. I'm going to do it right here. All of the steps that I'm going to show in this video are extremely important to create the big cable loop. All of the cables must be organized, consolidated, and uh, in many occasions replaced. When I started four years ago, I started with a completely different uh, gear equipment. It was a Celestron, um, just to watch it, look at the stars and have fun with it. So all of the cables that I had uh, back then were very long cables. Everything was going straight into the laptop. Uh, I am still working on getting the cables shorter. Sometimes I don't find them. Sometimes uh, it's not possible just to use a very short, short cable, which minimizes all these problems of, of excessive movement. Or, or little movements that we don't see, but they're constantly happening as the telescope is moving itself too, tracking, tracking the stars. So uh, one of the big solutions that I found was the uh, Pegasus power boxes. Uh, I, got, I have the pocket uh, power box, and I also got one of the uh, hub boxes, hub device, and I have all of my a USB connections connected into that, which is uh, the ones that I was working and I placed them right here underneath, uh, close to where the uh, uh, mount uh, and the saddle is for the telescope. Uh, it's very important. Uh, the other thing, the other mistake that we all make, uh, beginners plus like myself, even advanced, it just happened to me two nights ago while I'm recording this video. When you are ch making changes uh, with cables and, and, and ports, so be sure that you take a photo of uh, the exact order and where you have your cables. Uh, you always wanna try to use the same USB ports uh, for that particular gear. It's about 90 degrees, 93 probably <laughs> by now. And today was the day that I decided to finally fix my spaghetti uh, bowl that I have on top of my telescope. Woo! <laughs> I um, already did the um, big cable, the big three cables that go uh, in this loop, the loop <laughs> tied to the base of the mount. And I have to cut the uh, cable sleeves. I don't know how you call it, but I have to cut them. Too much, too much work. When I mean cut them, cut them in half and then use electric tape. I can't get the right size, it's too much. Okay, so let's continue now. It's time for the uh, Pegasus hub which I want to do it right here, put it on the base of the telescope. So let's, let's continue. This, this uh, part here is so tight, I can't, I can't move in. So I have to, I'm just going to put some, a little piece of foam right there. That looks good. Thank God that I'm always keeping little pieces of um, foam and plastic that I know one day I'm going to use it. <laughs> and there it is, ta-da! This will keep in place my Pegasus external motor controller. That's for the uh, focusing. Yes, the focusing. I'm sweating. 
but I'm getting it ready. Things are looking better. Okay, time for another thing hanging. <laughs> we need to fix this. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Uh, this must be some kind of a thermometer or something. We'll just keep working on it. Finally getting to the end. <laughs> Okay, another table gone. Woohoo! <laughs> Out. All cables and power cords have been connected to the uh, hub device and power boxes. This is an ongoing project, so I will be adding cable organizers. Most of the weight is now on the saddle and no on the telescope. Cables running underneath. I'm still using zip ties, but I am getting cable organizers. The big cable loop. All of the cables that are coming off the cable loom, ideally on the back of the telescope. The first tie is on the front of the uh, saddle. And then from there, you have to create that big loop and you're going to tie that to the leg, back leg of the telescope or the back of the telescope if it has a handle. And then that big cable is the one that goes to the computer. Testing for possible snacks. Just be sure that you rotate that telescope in all kinds of directions. As you can see the uh, big cable, the big loop, it's, it's in place. It's barely moving. And as I rotate the telescope, it still uh, stays in place. There's still some cables hanging, but those are mostly uh, power uh, cables. I will find a solution for those, probably uh, relocate them into the power box, but they're not affecting anything uh, as I already tested it uh, doing some imaging session. The big cable loop is extremely effective. I've tested it many times and I haven't had any cable snack in a long time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.